my name is Alicia Moulton from The Honey Company and I'm going to talk to you today about bee suits. So pretty much what we've done today is we've gathered all of the bee suits that we've, we have and um, we're going to compare and contrast them. And we will uh, start with the simplest covering, just like the simple hat and veil, and work up all the way to a full bee suit and kind of talk about the differences there. The first one I'll show you is um, just a normal hat and veil. It's a tie-on hat and veil. And it comes with a pith helmet here and the veil. And um, the prices may go out of date, but as of today, these, are, these cost about $35. So you can put this one on your head. And then these ties, you know, you'd cinch it up tight because you want to prevent bees from crawling up there. And then you'd go around behind back to the front and then tie it in a bow or a knot. And these offer kind of minimal coverage, but you can wear them with um, your own long sleeve shirt and jeans, and then they will offer some degree of protection, you know, with bee gloves. So this is the first way, and it's nice because it's lightweight and you don't have to have an extra layer of clothing, but it offers the least amount of protection because bees actually can get here up in your bonnet and you don't want that. But it offers more protection than not having it at all. We have some novelty bee, uh, I guess bee hats and veils. This is one that we've had around. It's kind of interesting because it's just so simple, but um, you can put this one on also and just cinch up um, this veil part, if I can demonstrate. And then just cinch this up here. Or I think you probably used to be able to, but now the <laughs> The material has come out of it, but um, so this is nice and it shows you that you can make something on your own. Like this just has wires here and here. And this wire is actually quite critical because it keeps the netting away from your face. If the netting is on your face, then bees can just sting right through that. So there's this one, kind of a funky green one. And then this one my husband got when he lived over in Russia. So this is another one like that. Um, it's kind of girly, so I like to wear this one um, when I go outside and there's a lot of bees, and it kind of just rests like this. So I wouldn't want to get into a hive with this. It would The bees would come <laughs> quite in there, but I could tuck it into, you know, a college shirt and be protected enough. So that's kind of another option for you. These, this one's mostly just for fun because we think it's pretty. All right. This is a bee veil that Stan's mom made when he, he was a kid. So she just took an old hat and stitched window screen onto the hat here. And then um, has this so that you can tie it or tuck it into your clothing on these tabs here. So that's another homemade version, which is kind of fun that his mom made it. Okay, so those are the hats we have. The next thing I'll show you is a bee jacket. This is actually the bee jacket that we offer for sale. There's a lot of bee jackets on the market and they're, they're pretty cool. And um, we like this one because it's easy to see through the screen. Um, it has a zipper here to kind of flip this back over your head so you can spit or <laughs> take a drink of water or drive your car. You know, if you need to tra um, travel between bee yards, you can just unzip that and flip it off. And then it has, it doesn't have a lot of zippers going up and down, which um, a lot of bee suits do, and so um, those are kind of a hassle to zip because everything has to be lined up just right for the bee suit to not have, you know, a hole here in the front. So we like this one because it has a nice pocket, two pockets, and they made them um, intentionally so that a man with big bee gloves could stick his hands in there and get to things without having to take off the gloves. So this is a nice low fuss bee jacket and you'd wear this with um, just whatever t-shirt or shirt that you have on and then just with some sturdy denim and um, that and some boots and that's enough protection from the bees. This is what Stan, my husband, most often keeps bees in. So this one's kind of a medium level of protection. It's enough but not too much. It's not as hot as some of the other bee suits are. Um, so we really like this suit and we 
there's another bee jacket that he's liked in the past from, I think it's from Brushy Mountain Bee Farm, and it has zippers going up. Um, the price difference between something like this and something like that is about $100, you know, for the zipper. So we like, we like the Snow Fuss one because it's less expensive and um, still does the job. -y. I also thought I'd show you our kids' bee suit today. Um, this is a fun one that we have enjoyed um, sharing with our children and letting them come out in the field and keep some bees with dad and it's a pretty fun suit. Um, I think it's from Brushy Mountain Bee Farm also and so it's a nice one to have. Um, it's a full body suit for our kids. We prefer that for the kids just to keep them a little bit more protected and our kids just wear, they don't wear denim as much so it, they really need the extra protection. We start having them wear this one. This is like the smallest size that they come um, when they're three or four years old and then it fits them up through, I don't know, six or seven. Our kids are pretty tall, but it lasts for a long time or several years and we just pass it on to the next kid when they get, um, when they grow out of it. All right, this is a full body men's bee suit. This is an extra large. That's the size Stan would wear. He's quite tall, so he needs the extra length. Um, but it just fits standard men's sizing. So this one, you can see, zips up the front, and it's very used. This is the one he uses when he's just kind of busting through a bunch of apiaries on, on one day, or maybe swiping honey. Um, you need more protection when you're harvesting honey in the fall than you need to, say, feed bees in the spring. So you'd want a different amount of protection depending on what you're doing, and depending on the bee's temperament, and some other factors. So this is one that he would use if he were, you know, going through many hives um, on the same day and, and swiping honey. So that's this one. It's just kind of a jumpsuit with the veil and hat kind of attached. As of right now, this one runs about $200-ish. Um, so it's a good one. We like this suit um, because it's easy to see through this screen. This, um, the mesh here is wire, and so it's nice because you can see through all, you have a 360 view through the suit, you know, save for these seams. And um, this gauge of, gauge of wire is quite small, and it makes it easier to, you know, read or make notes, or if you're marking a queen, or, or looking for eggs, that's the other one. You want to be able to see through your screen. This is another men's bee suit that we have here, um, and it can be a good suit. It's about in the $200 range as well. Um, we actually don't like this suit as much because this um, plastic mesh is very difficult to see through, um, especially compared to the other. So if you hold them side by side, you can see that this mesh is very thick compared to this here. And so it makes it difficult to see. This one does have a nice 360 um, view with no seams, but um, it's quite difficult to see eggs, which is pretty critical, especially as a new beekeeper. But otherwise, it's um, also very hot because these sleeves are kind of like a sweatshirt, you know. It's thick um, material here and then these bands will hold trap in all of the heat, which sounds nice on a day like today where it's winter outside, but when it's, you know, 102 degrees in the summer and then you have to wear your clothes and then a bee suit on top, this is quite hot. You know, in this, in this other bee suit, they don't have the cuff. That would just kind of fit inside your glove and still prevent bees from crawling inside, but, um, without trapping as much of the heat. Whatever bee suit you choose, it may be a good idea to get some kind of ankle protection. Um, this is most critical when you're keeping bees at night. So these are gators. I think they're for snowmobiling, but we use them for bees. For these, we'd wear boots, of course, not shoes like this, but we could strap them on this way and then they would protect us from having pants crawl up and sting us in a tender place. So 
um, these gaiters or sometimes people peg their pants like in the 1980s or <laughs> you can buy bicycle clips or something like that and so when bees are flying in the daytime they'll you know sting they may sting you but when bees are crawling at night they will sting if they come in contact with you so you especially want to protect yourself and maybe you want to do this all the time but you can do this on top of just jeans if you're wearing a half suit or on top of a full bee suit if you want to as well. Let's talk about some gloves. These are kids bee, glo bee gloves here so they're quite small but um, let's talk about some things to look for and things to avoid. Leather is a great material for bee gloves. It lasts lo a long time and it's really flexible. Some of our canvas gloves, you know, you wear right through them as you're working in the bees. But these leather ones seem to last a little longer. Um, to maintain them, we often will just rub some olive oil into them um, when they seem to get stiff. And they stay supple and you can manipulate things in the hive as needed. Um, they also have a solid fabric cuff here. We like to avoid um, bee gloves that have a mesh part right here. Um, the mesh does ventilate some heat from the bee suit. You know, it's quite hot. But bees can sting right through to your wrist and that's one of the most painful places to get stung. They say your eyes and nose and then your wrist. You can see that they're not just short gloves. These gloves, if a child was wearing them, you know, would fit to the wrist and then extend up the arm a little ways. So you can make your own bee gloves, you know, just buy a pair of leather work gloves or any kind of work gloves that you like and then sew on just kind of a sleeve with an elastic on the top. And that, we've done that before and it works great. We hope you've enjoyed this video about bee suits and hope this helps you when you're choosing your own bee suit. Thank <laughs> you.